talk about stabbing me and killing me? Excuse me, Jack? I wanted to be your friend. You said you needed a friend and no one wanted to be your friend and I was your friend. And now you're doing this to me? Hey girls and guys, it is Heather from Style Let's Play and we are back at Roblox High School. And ugh, school has been so stressful. You guys know all about me and the Ricky situation. So things haven't been good. I sent him an email basically saying that I was sorry for the way things ended, that I still wanted to be friends, that you shouldn't have left the school, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? I got no reply. But all of you guys are my friends. And you guys all told me, Zyla, you're a strong, independent woman that don't need no man. So you know what? We're gonna push him away and forget about him. Maybe this was meant to be. Maybe this is how things were meant to happen. Maybe he'll come back to this school. Maybe he won't. But it's time for me to move on and just have some fun. Look, it's after school. And you know what I do? I just go home because I have no friends. I don't talk to anyone at this school. So it's time for me to get it together, girl, and become a little social butterfly and start trying to make some friends. Tomorrow is show and tell, and I am so excited. I got my little jar of fireflies because I'm gonna release them in the school. I'm gonna show everybody that I've been collecting these little fireflies, and hopefully, hopefully my little firefly buddies, hopefully they can help me make some friends. Wait, <gasps> there's a girl right there. Hey, girl with the blonde hair. Oh, I like your hair. Maybe she can be my friend. <laughs> I mean, let's just let's just keep it 100. Do you want to be my friend? I'm over here. She just turned her back on me. I said you have nice hair. I mean, I gave you a compliment. Maybe you shouldn't tell strangers that. Like, go up to them and be like, You have nice hair. Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> I don't think she does. Does she or does she not? I mean... Um... I think... I'm gonna go find a new friend. <laughs> I mean, are you chasing me, girl? No, I don't know what she's doing. Is she still following me? She is. Oh my gosh. I think she's following me. She's following me. But she won't say anything. Um. Okay. Girl that doesn't talk. I know you don't talk, but you're going to be my friend. Right? I think, she's, I think that means we're going to be friends. Let's see if she follows me over to the pool party area. It's not really a pool party because it's only me going to this pool party. But maybe if I get more people there, it could turn into a party. Yes. Wait, I ran all the way to the pool and she disappeared. Beautiful blonde haired girl. Where have you gone? She's just disappeared. <sighs> blonde haired girl. I just want you to know. Hey, you were a real good friend to me. Even though you never spoke to me and all you did was chase me around. Wait, she's there. She's back. I think this time she's running away from me though. I'm starting to get the feeling that she actually didn't really want to be my friend. Maybe I was confused. Maybe I got mixed messages from you. Oh, you want to go to the club? Maybe I'll, I'll buy you a drink. What you want? Hmm? You want a Bloxy Cola? I got it. I'll pay for it. Don't even worry. There she is. Look, blonde hair girl. I got you. I got you a soda. Look. Do you like it? Did you not want the soda? It's right there. Look. See. Um. Okay. I think it's time for me to give up trying to be her friend. <laughs> I'm forever alone. All right. So there was this guy right here. His name is Jack. Real nice guy. You know. And he said he had no friends. So I was like, okay, Jack, I'll be your friend. And then he started speaking Italian. And I wish I could communicate with him. But I can't. Um, and he gets bullied. So I feel real bad for him. Jack, I'm trying my best to communicate with you. But there's going to be a language barrier. But we could still be friends. If that's what you want. Alright, so it was fun hanging out with Jack. You know, we didn't really speak that much. But, you know, it was a good time. We danced. We danced with everybody, but I have to go to school, I mean, tomorrow, so I need to go to bed, like, right now. So, I'm gonna go to my house, I'm gonna lock the door, so nobody tries to break into my, don't, don't be trying to break into my house, I gotta go to sleep. Look, look, I know, I know we, we, we all just became friends, Jack and Lily and, and Amy and stuff, but I, I gotta get some sleep, you guys. I gotta get, I gotta get a good education, you know, so, 
Are they going to watch me through the window when I'm sleeping? Stalk her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look. And then she smiled. Amy. Amy, you, it doesn't have to be like this. Look. I'm just trying to sleep. I'm just trying to get a little, you know, a little, a little sleepy time. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not look at the people at the window right now. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Look, let me just try to tell them. Guys, I need you to go to sleep for a good education. Sleep is a very important part of, of, yeah, education. Yeah, Amy, you don't know what that is? That's what you learn, stuff. Okay? <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to sleep now. Good night. Whew, I was sleeping really good. It's one o'clock in the morning and someone is texting me. Oh, it's Jessica. Okay. Hey, girl. Hey. You know, I'm supposed to be trying to go to sleep right now, but I'll text you, okay? I'm going to be really tired at school tomorrow, even though I can't wait for the show and tell. I hope I don't fall asleep halfway through. I wonder if it's important. Because why is she texting me at two o'clock in the morning? Oh, she's telling me if I want to go to the club and party. But it's 2 o'clock. Are you sure we should be doing this, Jessica? I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a bad idea. But maybe this is a good way to make some friends. <sighs> she couldn't understand me. Because I got tagged. 2 a.m., girl. 2 a.m. Like, oh my gosh. Let me just... Let me... Uh, you know what? Let me, let me sit. Sure. Let's go. All right. Maybe this is a sign that I should go. Because apparently, I can't tell her that I'm concerned. So let's, let's just go to the club. Come on. You know... YOLO, right? YOLO. Come on. Let's go. Go to the club. I'll see Jessica there. Is that her right there? Jessica! Is that you, girl? Hey, girl, hey! Oh, hey! Ooh, girl! Your outfit's real cute. So, do you want to go to the club? Come on. Let's go. Was she playing a prank on me? Is no one actually going to be at the club? Come on, girl! Let's go! No? You know... I mean, you are the Jessica that was texting me, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe she doesn't want to go to the club no more. Now it's kind of late. Because uh, school starts at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I got to start picking people up from their houses. Okay, I'm in my truck now. And I said I would pick people up around this time. So uh, no one's waiting outside though. I feel like it's the whole school playing a prank on me. And they're, they're pretending to be my friends, but they're really not. I'm basically a, a free bus driver. Alright, so just wait outside your houses, you guys. I'll be waiting. Hello. Oh, do you need a ride? To school? Oh. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Um, Luca, I'm a little scared of you that you might be a kidnapper or a murderer. And you're not really moving, so I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see you and just keep on driving. <laughs> Sorry, Luca. Jess didn't need a ride because she has to go anyway. But I got I picked up Lily. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. If I, 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 I'm sorry. Please don't sue me. So, uh, sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, need a ride? Look, take a free ride, okay? I'm sorry. Please, please don't call the popo. I don't want to get arrested. It's fine. Are you sure it's fine? I mean, you know what people say it's fine, but it's not really fine. They're secretly they're just waiting to kill you. Uh oh, drama starting. Yeah, drama started because I'm running children over with my car. This always happens to me. All right, so at, at, at least like I got someone to school safely. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I almost ran someone over again. Okay, just let's just park up like this. Sure, we could be twins. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to have a twin at school. Like when we wear the same clothes and stuff like that, but no one ever wanted to do it with me. And now I have you. I'm so happy, Mia. All right, let's go to drum class because I got to make sure I'm on time. <gasps> Wait, am I actually early for once? I'm actually early to school. This is the first time this has ever happened. <gasps> I can't wait to show everyone my fireflies later today. So, is everyone ready for my show and tell? Yeah? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yay! Okay, all right, all right, okay, Lily is. Lily is. Okay, look, basically, Mia, my twin. Okay, okay, I got Nugget as well. Here we go. Here we... Why is that guy... That guy... That guy's a violent kid. Dies I? What? Um, excuse me? Jack. I... Oh! He's a 
talk about stabbing me and killing me? Excuse me, Jack? I wanted to be your friend. You said you needed a friend and no one wanted to be your friend and I was your friend. And now you're doing this to me? Look, I'm not going to let nothing ruin my show and tell. Okay? Here we go. I'm ready for this. They want me to sing, but no, no, no. I got something much better than singing. My show and tell, guys, is fireflies. Open up. Where are they? Yeah. Be free! Look at that! <laughs> it's great, isn't it? They're really amazing. I don't yeah, see? <laughs> yes. I like Mia. Because Mia, my twin, she encourages me no matter what. And she, Did you see that? When Jack was starting to pick on me, she went over there. She's like, you better stop. And I was like, yes, Mia. You go, girl. You back me up. See? That's why it's a good thing to have twins. Because they'll, they'll be there for you no matter what. Wait! Mia has them too! And Amy! Oh my gosh! It's like we all had the same idea for show and tell. We're just releasing little magical fireflies. Uh, see that? We didn't let that, that bully guy stop us from having fun. No, we didn't. Oh my gosh, I think Jack just got suspended. I didn't even tell on him and he got suspended. <laughs> is that him over there? I just want to double check. Oh, <gasps> it is. Oh, whoa. Look, there's people getting detention and suspension and stuff. Mm -mm. See, that's why I'm a good student that doesn't get in trouble. Oh, no, we have math next. <laughs> why? I had such a good time in drama class showing my show and tell. And now I have to go to math. Math of all things. Oh, I, I, I followed the wrong person. I got to go downstairs. Hold on. I got to message my twin right now. I'm just going to say thanks for having my back with the bullies. I appreciate it, twin. I appreciate it because, you know, I don't have a lot of friends here. So having you really means a lot. I hope you know them. Oh, she said no problem. You're my twin after all. Oh, oh. she's the best. Oh, no, I me spilled apple juice all over herself. <gasps> Are you okay? Because, um, maybe you should go get changed or something. Because, because... You know, the little ants, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna like all your spilled apple juice. Ooh, there's some drama. There's a guy thinking he's gonna be funny. Oh no, Tiffany's trying to be funny. I she's like, oh, double dab, dab. Well, I think she's about to get suspended. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Um, excuse me. I'm not something you could claw, girl. Be careful. I thought she had detention. Okay, here we go. I'm taking my seat. I'm trying to learn. Let's say hi to the teacher. Hi. Say I'm a good student. The teacher says hi. I say hi back. That's having manners. Mm -hmm. But Tiffany's not sitting down. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before the principal comes in here and gives her detention. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Did you see this? I thought I saw the principal's name there. <gasps> um... All right, I need to find the principal right now because there's someone planning to kill me at that school and this school and this, that's not funny. Excuse me, principal, is that you running around with your little rainbow? Because if it is, I need to speak to you immediately. Oh my gosh. Mia, you have to stay with me, all right? No, that's not. That's not the principal. Ah, is the principal in the office? Oh my gosh, no. Where is he? I need to speak to him right now. Look, twin. If he's out here looking for us, we need to go. Like right now. Like to the campsite or something. Look, I don't know if the school is going to be the safest place to stay. He knows where we are here. Uh, sure. Sure you can come with us. Come on. Let's go. Luckily, I already had my truck waiting for me. Come on. We need to go. Now. Alright. Um, I don't know if hiding at the campsite is the best place because he could kill us and throw our bodies into the lake and no one would even know. But it's the only place I know to go where we can hide. Where is it? I think it's down this way. And I can't find the principal, so I can't even tell on him. And I have no idea where he is now. Oh, <gasps> wait. Is that him right there? Is he? Who is he talking to? He's saying something like he's not a noob or something? Um... What is this guy talking about and why is he trying to kill me? Look, Jack, I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to ask you straight up. Why are you after us? Huh? 
Why? We never did anything to you. I wanted to be your friend. Jack is starting to weird me out a little bit. I'm not a noob. No one, no one called him a noob. But he just keeps talking to himself. Something about a noob and the Italian government. I have no idea what, what this kid is on about. And I think it's best I just leave him alone. Jack, I wish the best for you. Just please don't kill me. Don't kill my twin. Don't hurt anyone at the school. And we'll be alright, okay? I'm just gonna slowly, quickly walk away from you, okay? <laughs> Want to go in style? Oh, this is her car, okay? Okay, girl. She's like, I got a better car than you, okay? All right, I'll get in your car. I'll get in your car. So we got to get back to school because the whole campsite idea ended up becoming a failure because Jack is following us anyway. So he knows where we're going. And he also heard us say we we're going to the campsite. Um, so let's just say school. We got to go back to school. And you know what? I keep, I still keep thinking about Ricky, but it's a lot better now because you know what? You guys were right. It was time for me to move on. And whatever happens, happens. Why are these kids just floating? What is going on at this school today? Whoa. There's lots of craziness. I think we're going to have to investigate what's going on. Because these people are acting very strange. What class did we have right now? I think it was English class. Yes, it was English class. So it turned out to be a good thing that we didn't get pranked. I thought we were going to get pranked. And I thought people were lying when they like when Jessica was trying to invite me to the, to the, the club. And then no one showed up. But... I made some friends today, which is really, really good. And hopefully, they'll be here next time I'm here. Because then I'll have someone to hang out with and I won't be alone. Because they're the only thing that made me forget about Ricky. Because when I'm by myself, that's all I think about. <sighs> but anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!